Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to review the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard for you guys. So, here we go. So, the plot is, Bodyguard, Michael Bryce, his friend, that's a Hitman, they are back in another life-threatening mission. Bryce is forced to go into, is forced to do this mission after seeing his therapist that said, no more bodyguarding, no more blood, and no more guns. So, then they, he teams up with his friend's wife and they go to find his friend. They go to defeat a guy that owns a yacht and they go to stop the yacht uh, and the people who are on that yacht, uh, such as Morgan Freeman who plays Ryan Reynolds' father. So, this movie is very funny. It's what you expect. It's Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson in a movie. And there's a lot of parts in this movie where it kind of gave me very Deadpool vibes uh, from this movie. And um, I was shocked because it had like a ridiculous cast. Like, you have Morgan Freeman who was... Did a great job as Vitruvius in the Lego movie and God in Bruce Almighty and Evan Almighty. You have Ryan Reynolds again. Great, fantastic as Deadpool. You have Samuel Jackson uh, that is Nick Fury in the MCU and you have um, his white and then you have uh, in this movie, his wife is actually played by the girl who was Adam Sandler's wife in Grown Ups. Sorry, I'm, I can't remember her name, but she's in that and she's going to be internal. Uh, she's going to be in the Internals movie uh, coming out later this year by Marvel Studios. And also you have um, the guy uh, who played Crossbones in Captain America Civil War and uh, Captain America... The Winter Soldier. You have him as um, kind of a cop in this. Um, so you just have this crazy cast going on. And so the jokes all land. They all do a great job in this movie. They are fantastic. They just do a great job with this. And um, some of the humour really worked for me. I'm not going to tell any of the jokes because a little too inappropriate uh, because, you know, <clears throat> YouTube. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the humour all lands, which is fantastic because I'm a, I'm a guy that loves humour, especially if, even if it's like the worst humour, we would find it good in even the worst humour. So... I watch a lot of funny stuff, like I watch Deadpool, and I watch uh, Jumanji, welcome, the Jumanji films, the recent ones, which are all, they have action in them, but they're more based on comedy, so, I watch a lot of comedy films, like Night School, and Central Intelligence, and stuff like that, so, I thought that was really cool to see, um, like, Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson, like, not in a superhero movie and kind of in more of a spy uh, kind of thriller. Um, and it was ridiculous. This this movie's M.A. And there's a lot of blood in this. Like, it's not blood in a sense that's like... Um, it's not like a horror movie type of blood. Uh, like, blood and gore, that type of stuff. It's just one of those things where, like... You would, but it's more... Okay, it's on the same level of blood as there is in, like, a Deadpool movie. 
like in those Deadpool movies, there's a lot of blood, but it's not like horror, a uh, lot of blood. Um, it's on the same level as Deadpool uh, for uh, the MA15 plus type of stuff because there are some jokes, like they don't go too inappropriate as uh, Deadpool, but it does go very in inappropriate. But um, there's a joke in here where they are basically uh, where these people are basically saying on the news that um, these three railway people are um, like we need to get them as soon as possible because they're basically in shit basically um, and there's a joke if you follow Hugh Jackman or Ryan Reynolds on uh, social media you'll probably get this joke but uh, you have Samuel Jackson and um, the chicks photo they're all is great but that Ryan Reynolds' photo is a photo of the Christmas sweater one that's basically like a present with a bow on it. And I just burst up laughing in the theatre. I kid you not. And Dad just basically go, like, why are you laughing? And um, Ryan Reynolds just goes like, where did I get that photo? That's an awful photo. And I was like, oh, nothing. It's just that vest that, uh, and I'll explain to Dad, oh, that is basically just, that vest that Ryan Rose is wearing in that photo is basically just a joke on their social media where um, one year he had on and then another year Hugh Jackman had on because they both post on social media. But yeah, it was very funny and um, it was something that I got but something that my other family members didn't really get. So I thought that, that was very cool because normally I wouldn't get those in jokes but Shockingly, I actually did get that in joke, and um, but I will say this one bad thing about this movie. Even though that the story is great and it's a very entertaining movie and a very comedic movie, there are parts where I was like, I don't really like that turn. Like, okay, so I liked. The movie, um, this is a mild spoiler, I'm not going to get into too much spoiler, but, um, so from the beginning all the way up to the bit where Ryan Reynolds, uh, where three of them basically got the car from Morgan Freeman, got the car, and they kind of just, um, out near a field, basically, um, and they're just basically talking, and then they get shot by darts. The husband and the wife get uh, shot immediately and they both fall down. Ryan Ross takes one. He still hasn't gone down. So they shoot about 10 more to his face and he finally goes down. That, that was good, but the bit where there was like this... Uh, I even liked the short, like, maybe two minutes after that, where it's basically them in, like, this castle type thing, and the bad guy is, um, talking to them, and the wife of, uh, Samuel Jackson's, uh, wife in this is basically saying, oh, I, um, dad this guy, and this is how it happened, and blah, 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 um, and there was this whole bit of um, where she stays with him and because he's explained to her how he set up exactly what she wanted. And uh, because she wants a family throughout this whole thing. Uh, which I'll, I'll get to that part at the end. But there's this whole joke of uh, whole thing of how she wants to be a parent. And, um, Ryan Reynolds, um, is basically, um, uh, because, like, he has a, um, thing where, like, at the beginning, he's this, uh, understanding person of this girl, and then, um, there's this scene later where he's like, she'll, you'll be a terrible mother, you, 
do this, do that, and blah, blah, blah. Um, and basically, um, so she wants to have a life with um, the bad guy because she thinks Samuel Jackson's character um, basically betrayed her uh, for something that, because she wants to be throughout this entire thing. I explained that, but um, oh, I forgot what he did, but um, basically it was something to do with the kid, um, if they had a kid. So then, basically, that happens, and that's the part where I'm like, why did you say that turn? That was an awful turn to go. Now you're basically going to do some sort of crazy thing. Luckily that they didn't. At the right moment, Samuel Jackson's character picks up the phone and it's his wife on the other side of the phone. And she's explained to him and stuff like that how she still loves him. It was just a part of her plan and stuff like that. So, luckily, there was a good maybe... And also you find out that that in that bit that Ryan Reynolds' character um, goes to meet his father and his father is working for the bad guys. That whole, um, it was maybe about five, five minutes-ish. Uh, maybe that much. It wasn't very long, but I just didn't like that part. But as soon as they got that, as soon as uh, Samuel Jackson got that phone call, it picks right, on, right back on track uh, for the finale. Um, so, the beginning's good, there's just a, about a five, ten minute, uh, portion of the movie that I didn't really like just because of the way that they kind of planned it. Uh, well, I guess not planned, it's not the right word, it's, uh, I don't know what you would call it, uh, guys, it's like, um, I guess it's just the way that the writers were like, well, this is the only way to get to this point of the movie. We have this scene where the bad guy is talking to the three main characters and we need to get from this point to the final bad scene where they're all fighting the bad guys. So they were like, oh, well, let's just make these weird twists basically going like... From, from the whole bit of where she walks into the room and the bad guy's explaining to her that... He has everything that she wants uh, for their kid. That from that scene to right before uh, Samuel Jackson picks up that phone call, that portion of the movie I didn't really like that much. Uh, but luckily, it wasn't long because it picks right back up as soon as uh, Samuel Jackson got that phone call from his wife. So that was really good. So. Where would I rank this movie? Because there's just one bit that I don't really like about this movie, but overall, I really do like it. So, I would actually have to give this... I would actually have to give this a Spider-Man. It's actually really good. Um, I'm sure it will grow on me the more I watch it. But, yeah, it's really, really cool that... I saw an action movie that's kind of out of my out of my league, that's not based on a franchise or some crazy ridiculous uh, character. It's actually good just to watch a straightforward comedy movie with uh, four very good actors, no five very good actors, and kind of go in that direction. So guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also, hit the little bell icon to get another five future videos I make. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.